What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with our Pieces Intuition, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul job, I super duper appreciate it. Um, this is a collective reading, Capsule Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply. Let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, if you guys want to be notified of future videos, smash the sub button. The same for real, for real, for real. Um, I'm not going live today. Well, I might go live today. I might go live today, um, but I'm not going to for this video. So I just wanted to let everybody know. I love you guys, though, so much. Switches. Okay. Um, thanks for all the, um, you guys, the channel's growing. Um, lots of new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome in newbies. Love you guys so much. Um, I do. And everybody else, uh, welcome in, gang, gang, gang. Vibing with Soul Child, just saying, just saying. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel. I hope it helps you and um, gives you some clarity and um, helps you. Helps you, helps you, helps you. Pro, pro, pro. All right, you guys. Well, um, we're going to get started. Pro, pro, pro. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does, doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Okay, so I got a channel to end, so I decided to do this reading. So we're going to do the damn thing. Okay, so um, the channel I received basically was um, the empire is about to start falling. Um, the empire, I'm sorry, the empire is about to start crashing down is what I heard. Um, and then I heard it was built on false pretenses. Um, and then it was like two minutes-ish after that, I heard um, um, Coven... Um, Coven dismantling, uh, witches and warlocks are about to start really, really going through it. So you plug it in, however that resonates, resonates, resonates. Um, so you plug it in, however it resonates. Um, black magic severely, severely, severely about to start backfiring. These people intuitively know it. Okay, I heard that just now. Black magic severely um, uh, backfiring. Um, these people intuitively know it. Um, apparently, it's witches and warlocks. Their um, black magic coven, coven is sounds like it's in the process of dismantling. For some, it could have already just dismantled. For some, in the process of dismantling, you plug it in however it resonates in your own life. Um, but some kind of black, 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 can't speak. We're still in retrograde. Well, yeah, coming down the tail end of it. Um, black magic coven dismantling. Um, for some, I, I feel it's in the process of dismantling. For some, it could have already just dismantled, but I feel most of these situations, it's in the process of dismantling. But you plug it in however that resonates, if it does resonate for you. Um, but um, basically, um, uh, Lots of witches and warlocks are about to start going through it. So heavy negative power moments for them. But they're highly intuitive. So, you know, I think a lot of those people, they have gifts. They have gifts. The clairs, I'm feeling a lot of them have the clairs. Clair audience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape abilities. So they know. They know it's coming. Um, well, even if they didn't have the clairs, they can still be highly intuitive. But they know it's coming regardless. They know it's coming. Um, black magic severely backfiring, so they have done some kind of crazy black magic, I think, to you or a loved one or somebody you're connected to. And I'm just being full real about that. Um, there's a reason. Reason it's dismantling. Um, their coven's breaking up. I think you have had a hand in breaking up their coven. Is exactly what I think. And kudos to you, my dear. Um, you go with your badass self, whoever that's for. Um, that. That's a hell of a, I mean, not that you would ever put that on a resume, but that's a hell of a thing to say um, in the world. Just for real, for real. It really is. Um, help destroy a black magic coven? Check. Fuck yeah. Just saying. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, but I heard the empire was built on, um, was built on pre false pretenses. So um, I think they used you to help build their empire. Their empire. But it was a dark empire. It was a dark empire. They helped you. Um, they used you to do it, basically. They used you. Either your time, your money, your energy, one or more of those things. 
um, and you're helping dismantle this biatch. Just saying, just saying. Go with your badass self. Holy friggin' A, man. That's some strong energy, strong positive energy, if I've ever heard it. A true badass. Oh, shit. I just heard a true badass. Well, you go with your badass self. True badass. Just saying, just saying. That's awesome. So you're helping this, uh, either already help dismantle the Black Magic Coven or you're about to help dismantle the Black Magic Coven. Um, and it consisted of witches and warlocks. So, I mean, two or more of these people probably, you know, Covens, they, they group together like many people because they're stronger in groups. So, um, holy freaking A, man. Hashtag badass. Holy crap, man. Some of these people work in the spiritual realm. Some do not. Witches and warlocks. Some have turned their life around. However, so much blood, they have done so much black magic in the past, it's about to backfire on them. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates. Um, so these witches and warlocks that have done black magic on you, whoever this resonates with, you have a ton of witches and warlocks that have done black magic on your ass, um, in the past. Now, for some of these people, I feel they could have been the ones that were doing it on Halloween of 2020, because I've been pulling in messages and pulling in messages and pulling in messages about Halloween of 2020, black magic about the backfire. Um, I've done, that was an Aries reading and one of Aries readings and I did a whole channel collective message on it. Um, so I, I feel for some of these situations that this resonates with you, it could have been, uh, they could have been doing it on Halloween in 2020 because they were so jelly at you um, for some of you guys. Um, that's, I'm feeling that. Um, uh, and for some of your readers, for some of your readers that that resonates, um, you take it how it resonates. But However it resonates, um, the, some of them I heard the, of these witches and warlocks work in the spiritual realm. So, you know, they either do Terra um, or vision channels or, um, or they um, are prophets or, well, fake prophets or fake spiritualists. Um, you plug it in however it resonates, but they work in the spiritual realm in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard some have turned, they have truly turned their life around. They truly have. So they have went from the dark to the light is what it's seeming like from the message. But I heard the betrayal was just too great. It was just too great. And basically, and they've done, and they did so much black magic on their butt, basically, that it's about to, um, it's about to backfire whether they want it to or not. So some of these people know they've, they've harmed you. They know they've harmed you spiritually. They know they have. And for some, it could have been other ways. They could have harmed you spiritually or mentally or physically or financially or one or all those things. But they know they did. They're highly intuitive. Some, I feel, have abilities. And they've turned their life around thinking they were going to prevent the karma. But karma never loses an address. For real, for real, for real. And that's just the truth. For real, for real. And that's what it sounds sound like is about to happen to these people. And it's several people, some masculine, some feminine energy, some work in the spiritual realm, some do not. You plug it in how it resonates. One particular feminine energy has a public platform and has someone severely obsessed with her. Severely. She has this person stalking another person on a public platform. However, what she doesn't know is this person is about to collaborate with someone in her hometown. They are going to do work in her home and they are going to plant a hidden camera and hack into her computer system. Very heavy negative tower moments coming for her. 35 and below Leo. Oh my God. So you plug it in however that resonates. If that resonates with you. Oh my God. Oh, oh whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you, um, 
several of these people have it coming. I mean, several. Masculine and fem, some spiritual around, some not. But whoever this is for, this person has a public platform. So this person is included in the group um, that harmed you. Definitely harmed you spiritually. Maybe harmed you in other ways. Maybe energy sucking, time sucking, financial sucking, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they, this might be a person that turned their life around or might not have been. Um, you plug, because some of them have turned their life around and some have not. So you plug it in how it fits. But however it resonates, it's a Leo, Fem 35 and below. I'll tell you that. Leo, Fem 35 and below. And I heard she has um, somebody obsessed with her. Um, she has somebody obsessed with her and she, um, she knows this person is obsessed with her. Okay, I just heard she knows this person is obsessed with her. Was using that to her advantage, but it is about to backfire. Oh my God, whoa. Okay, so yikes. So she's highly intuitive. It's a, We're pulling in a Leo Femme 35 and below in here. She's highly intuitive. Um, she knows, I heard from spirit, she knows this person is obsessed with her. So she knows this person is obsessed with her, but she's using this person. It could be a masculine or femme person, but it's a Leo femme 35 and below in this group of witches and warlocks that harmed you in the past. That's basically about the get theirs. Um, Leo femme 35 and below. She She's using somebody, a masculine or femme energy, I heard to stalk another person on a public platform. So, and she knows this person is obsessed with her. So she knows this person is obsessed with her. Um, I think of that Mariah Carey song. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, you should have known. That's what I think of. Um, just saying. But she knows. She's highly intuitive. She knows this person is obsessed with her. But obviously, she's not interested because she's just using this person, obviously. Um, whether this person knows this uh, Leo Fem 35 and below is just using this person or not, I don't know. Um, but this Leo Fem 35 and below is very highly intuitive. They were in the group of the people that harmed you, basically. Um, but they're using this person to stalk um, you on a public platform, basically. So they're using this person to stalk you on a public platform. Um, but what this Leo Fem 35 and below doesn't know is um, apparently this Leo Fem is um, this person is about to collaborate with somebody to do uh, with some kind of home repair ser um, service that this person is about to have done. This Leo Fem 35 and below is about to have some kind of home repair service done. Um, I think it's something to do with internet because I heard um, hacking, hacking of internet and a hidden cameras can be placed. So this person is going to collaborate, I heard, with somebody in her hometown. So this person, I don't feel, lives actually in her hometown, but watches her on her public platform because you have a public platform and she has a public platform as well. Um, and this person knows somebody in her hometown. So they're about to manipulate, well, collaborate, talk, communicate with this person and get a strategic behind the scenes manipulative plan because this person is uh, the Leo fan 35 and blows about to, utilize, um, there's some kind of home service that needs to be done. So she's going to, you know, get, get a company to come out, get the service done, whatever. Well, I think this person knows somebody who works in that company. So they're about to communicate with this person behind the scenes, strategic behind the scenes plan to communicate with this person because I heard a hidden camera is going to be placed in the home and hacking, um, hacking of computer systems. Theft will occur, cyber theft for sure. Okay, I heard theft will occur for sure, cyber theft. So hacking of c computer systems. So it, I think it's something to do on um, this Leo Finn's, maybe their internet, maybe their internet, or physically their computer or et cetera, et cetera, some kind of technical systems in their home. Um, but this person's very skilled at hacking and cyber theft. This person knows it. And this person's obsessed with the Leo Fem. So they're about to communicate and this person might be obsessed too, possibly. So that might be why they're teaming up together. Um, I heard cyber theft will occur, so they're going to steal money from her. And, um, well, they're going to steal money maybe from the hidden camera. Because I heard a hidden camera is going to be placed and cyber theft. 
So they're going to place a hidden camera in there and they are going to steal from her. Um, cyber theft. So that could be images, that could be money, that could be um, anything that can be stolen. But they're going to do it sneakily, hacking way. Is exactly what it sounds like. So you plug it in however it resonates. Holy freaking A. And an earth sign is about to start getting gang stalked in their community. They once gang stalked another. Heavy, heavy, heavy gang stalking. Okay, I heard an earth sign is about to start getting gang stalked. Heavy, heavy, heavy gang stalked in their community. I heard they once gang stalked another. So you plug that in, however that resonates. Now, we have a Leo Fem. Uh, Earth Sun Feminine. Okay, I heard Earth Sun Fem. So we have a Leo Fem, 35 and below. Earth Sun Fem. They're part of the group that... Um, was in this black magic coven that harmed you spiritually and po and probably other ways as well. Um, but at least two people I'm drawing in over here in this crazy group that have harmed you in the past, at least spiritually, if not other ways. But their coven has broken up. Their coven's broken up. Some of them went to the light side, trying to repent, but they still have karmic debt they need to pay basically from the past is um, what I'm taking from that. So, um, um, Leo Fem 35 and below, we went over her situation, and then an Earth Sign Fem um, is about, I heard, about to get start getting gang stalked in her own community. I heard she once gang stalked you. So she once gang stalked, um, I'm sorry, not you, another. So it could have been you, it could have been somebody else. So I'm feeling it for a lot of you guys, it was probably you. It was probably you um, they were gang stalking. Because um, I think they used the COVID to gang stalk you. So I feel for a lot of you guys. They gang stalk. They gang stalk you, and so karma is cycling around, and now they're going to get gang stalked. I heard it's a Earth sign fam, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo feminine. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, or Jupiter. But I heard they're about to start getting gang stalked. I really feel for a lot of you guys. They have gang stalked you in the past. That's what I'm feeling. But you plug that in, however it resonates. So we're pulling in two fem energies from this crazy black magic coven that's getting broken up, but Black magic's backfiring all over the place. It's just backfiring, backfiring, backfiring. I've been pulling this in so strong recently. And a Gemini masculine Is about to start having very strange things happen to very expensive items in their home that's not under warranty. It's going to piss them off so bad. Shorting of circuits on game systems and game devices. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And a Gemini masculine, if that resonates with you, they can have Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, or Jupiter. You plug that in how it resonates, but a Gemini masculine, I think one of the warlocks. Um, I heard it's going to um, start having um, things happen in their home to large ticket items, basically, um, that are not under warranty. Heard specifically shorting out of game systems and devices. Um, so I'm thinking something that has electronics, that's heavily electronic. I'm thinking it could physically be like a game, uh, you know, like a Wii or a Xbox or a PlayStation or something of that nature. But also think of like arcade games. Maybe it could be an arcade game, one of those nice, cool, classic arcade games, possibly. Um, Possibly for some, 
Uh, it's some kind of something that has electric that's in the home that's not covered under warranty. So I think of like a pinball machine, a classic pinball machine. I think of maybe maybe pool tables are not usually electronic. Sometimes they can be, but or it could be like a um, ski ball machine or a um, ski ball or a what's it called when you uh, air hockey it could be air hockey. Um, something of that nature um that's what i'm thinking those are just examples but you plug them in however it resonates is something large ticket item in the home that has electronics that's not covered by warranty and this is a gemini masculine they could have gemini and their sun moon rising venus north node, Hammer, jupiter i heard it's going to piss them off in a huge way you plug it in how it fits And this Gemini masculine is also going to lose a very, very, very important document soon. Very important document. Okay. Wow. This is Gemini masculine. So we're pulling in three people. You plug these people in however they resonate in your life if they do. Um, these are people that have harmed, at least spiritually harmed you in the past. For a lot of you guys, I feel it was more than that. I feel it was physical theft, physical energy sucking, physical time sucking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but definitely spiritual harm, for sure. Um, but Gemini Masculine as well, I heard, is about to lose a very, very important document soon. Very important. So you plug that in, however that resonates. It's going to create several heavy negative tower moments in this Gemini Masculine's life. Okay, I heard it's going to create several heavy negative power moments in this Gemini masculine's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. And an older Sagittarius feminine is about to start getting ill. They thought they were invincible. Very egotistical. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. So you got at least four people in this coven. The coven's, it's either broken up or is it in the process of dismantling now? You have to, you know, play in your life out bits. But we're pulling in a lot of peeps. So then a sad, old, old, older Sag fam, they could have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Omen, Hammer, Jupiter. Now, older in the tarot is typically deemed 40 and above, 40 ish and above typically. So you plug this Sag Femme in however they resonate in your life, but um, I'm feeling they, for a lot of you guys, they are 40 or above, because I heard older. Um, they can have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, but I heard they're about to start getting really ill, really ill. I heard they thought they were invincible, and they're very egotistical. So you plug that in however that resonates, if that resonates with you. A very serious illness. It's going to decrease their quality of life in a huge way. Oh my God. Okay, I heard I heard a very serious illness is going to decrease their quality of life in a huge way. So um, you plug that in, however that resonates in your life, if it does resonate. Someone's child keeps questioning them about someone of the past. A family member. They cannot, they keep lying because they cannot fully explain why they are out of their life. It's going to backfire on them in a huge way soon. Because the child will learn the truth. Okay, so you plug it in, help it. Oh my God. 
Okay, so we've pulling in at least four people. It could be one of these four people's children or somebody else's children, child. But it's somebody over here in this black magic coven that basically is being dismantled or is already dismantled, I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it fits. Um, but it's a child of somebody um, that used to be connected to you. So you're not in their life anymore. I feel you've done your healing and your shadow work and you moved on. You moved on. You've done your healing and your shadow work and you've moved on, my dear. Absolutely. Um, but there was, um, but you're not in their life anymore. But obviously you're not in their life for good reason. But I'm sure you were adult about it and you moved the hell on. If this resonates with you, you moved the hell on. I think you realized for a lot of you guys that these asswives were using you. And I think for some of you guys, you knew they were in a black magic coven. And you're not down with that shiznit. So you decided to move away. And I don't freaking blame you um, from them. Move away from them. For some, you could have physically moved locations. You plug it in how it fits. But however that resonates, you have moved away energetically from them, period. Um, and I don't blame you. But somebody's child, either in this, this situation or another, um, or somebody else in this coven because there's a lot of dudes and dudettes which is a warlocks in here um somebody's child is about to question them why you were not in their life anymore and i heard basically they're gonna lie they're gonna lie they're gonna lie but it's about to backfire on them because the child's about to learn the real truth soon so i don't think the child's gonna learn the real truth from their parent or guardian how that resonates um obviously because the parent or guardian is lying out their damn teeth about it to the child for a strategic reason because they know what really happened in the past but they don't want to admit it it's like um negative coping mechanism skills um and projection onto the child um, which is not healthy but that's exactly what they're doing which is sad but um i heard they're about to learn the real truth soon the child's about to learn the real truth soon so i think it's from somebody else um it has to be from somebody else so it could be you know somebody in the community it could be um maybe it could be from somebody in the community. It could be um, from an investigator. It could be through a crazy happenstance of somebody that rolls up into their life unexpectedly and they know you and they just overhear the truth from this person. Um, you plug it in how it fits. Let me see if I hear anything else. I was going to use some cards, but I got some new channel. A house is about to go up for auction soon. Okay, I heard a house is about to go up for auction soon. A house is about to go up for auction soon. So I think at one of these people's homes, um, I think it was foreclosed upon and they, they're not paying the note or cannot pay the note. Um, either their home or somebody they're connected to is home. Um, but somebody's home is about to go for auction soon. However, that resonates. Um, I've never had a home go into auction. Um, I'm presuming that's because they, it's been foreclosed upon, um, and they cannot, you know, they cannot afford it anymore. And it went to the bank. That's what I'm presuming, but you plug it in however it resonates. A Pisces is about to try to play victim badly. However, it's about to backfire because when the other party gets questioned, they will tell exactly what happened and will show proof and evidence. Okay, so you plug it in however it resonates. Um, I heard a Pisces is about to try to play victim. Um, in a huge way. So we have a Pisces over here as well. Um, in this group of witches and warlocks. There's a lot of them. 
Um, they could have, it could be masculine. Well, heart she, heart she. So it's a fem Pisces. They could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. You plug it in how it fits. A heart she. So it has to be a fem Pisces. But heart she's going to play victim. She's going to play victim to some kind of situation. So it could be some kind of situation that you were in with her. Um, or in the past. Or one of the situations she was in with all these crazy folk over here. Um, or a situation with... Uh, auction home possibly you plug it in how it fits but um however it resonates though i heard she's going to try to play victim about it she's going to try to play victim but i heard it's going to backfire because whoever it is i think i think for a lot of you guys this pisces is connected to you in some shape form or fashion um right now for some of you guys i do um or it could have been a situation in the past you plug it in how it fits however that resonates but it's a pisces fem but I heard basically she's going to try to play victim about something. So she's going to try to turn it around and make it look like she was the victim on something that pertains to you, either of the past or the present. But I heard um, it's going to backfire because when you, it sounds like when you get questioned, so you're going to get questioned about this, if this resonates with you. Um, I feel by investigators or police or just by community members or someone else in general, um, I heard proof and evidence will be, um, the story will be explained and proof and evidence will be um, displayed. And when the proof and evidence is displayed, it's going to backfire on her. So energetically backfire because you will have proof and evidence. I'm thinking screenshots, messages, uh, phone call log, um, messenger, um, chat, chat boxes. I don't, you know, you plug it in how it fits. However that resonates. But for some, I feel you could be connecting with her now for some it could have been in past energy it's a pisces fan they could have pisces in their sun moon rising venus north and midhaven jupiter you know she's played the heavy victim in the past and she is definitely not innocent and you're about to prove it okay so you plug it in how it fits oh my god i heard you definitely know she's not a, a innocent so she's definitely not innocent um and you know this uh, for some, this could be the community hope energy, I'm feeling for some of you guys, because I've been pulling in a community hope. And you know, uh, Black Magic Covens, the biggest form of energy sharing is through sex. And the Covens have sex usually with each other and community members. And a lot of the Coven members are actually prostitutes, community prostitutes, because not only do they gain their energy when they have sex with you or whoever they're having sex with, but they gain their, um, but they can gain money off of it. Because they got you so addicted to the sex, they know you're going to pay for it. Um, so not only do they gain their energy when they have sex with you, but they get paid off of it because they know you're going to pay them. And that's just the truth for real, for real. So I feel for some of you guys, this possibly could be the community whole prostitute energy we've been pulling in. But you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates in your life. Um, you could have uh, the person could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midnight, Jupiter, but you've got some kind of evidence on them, either current evidence past evidence etc 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 it could be video video footage screenshots messenger chat chatty chatterson whatever you plug it in how it fits um and i feel this is you i feel over here so you plug that in how that fits let me see if i hear anything else i'm actually not going to pull in cards because i got so many channels Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Also, too, I was going to say, too, you could also have receipts. You could have receipts or something of that nature as well. Uh, or some kind of docu like official documentation or something, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it fits if that resonates with you. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media. I would so much appreciate it, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Smooches. Namaste.